Welcome to Let's Talk Automotive and the next installment of our segment on how things work. And today we decided that we're going to show you a few of the active safety systems that we found on the Suzuki Swift. And we have a very special guest in the form of Frankie. <laughs> Welcome, Frankie. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. It's good to be here. I, um, I'm nervous. Can I just be honest? Because I've never been on a skid pan. We've got this huge skid pan behind us. <laughs> I know you're a pro and my mom has taught me to drive safely so I'm really scared about what's happening today so you'll have to guide me. Well that's awesome Frankie because what we're going to do today is we're going to break all the rules with the systems off right. to show you just how wild these cars can get with the systems off then we're going to switch them back on and hopefully you have a wow moment. Okay, awesome. All right. In our first session on the skid pan we're going to take you through how ABS works. Now interestingly enough, most people think that ABS is there to stop a car faster. That's one of the advantages, particularly in wet conditions, but actually ABS allows you to brake and steer. So although ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System, we can actually change that acronym to be Allows Braking and Steering. And so in the next few demonstrations that we're going to do with Frankie, we're going to take you through exactly how ABS works by first turning off the system and then putting the system back on. And we're also going to illustrate to you the effects of some of the supplementary systems on ABS that we find, such as electronic brake force distribution as well as brake assist. Okay, so we want to get to about 60 k's an hour. Okay. And then I'm going to try not to have the brakes locking up all the time. All right, here we go. Okay. Whew. Now we're going to do with ABS and EBD. And what this does now is it distributes the brake force properly, front and rear. Right. And it's also going to stop the wheels from locking up because you notice I had to come off the, the wheels. I Oh, right. I felt that. Okay. That's crazy. So you can feel the, yes. that, me that mechanical does, feel. Yes, yes. Right. So that's yes. the ABS pump that's taking away and adding fluid to the brake calipers. And so it's like sort they're, of they're literally pumping like this. Bah, okay. Bah, 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 bah. Right. So the ABS is off. So now you're driving effectively a 1980s. Right. So you're just going to go straight. You'll have no control. We won't be able to do this, anything. Absolutely. And this, this now tests the concept that the wheels around for a reason. Right. <laughs> and that's to develop traction. So oh, we're going to go to about here we go. 40 k's an hour. Okay. And you can see. Right. Nothing. Absolutely no. Absolutely nothing. Actually, that was pretty. We can actually go a little bit faster even because we've got a lot of runoff here. So let's give that a shot. So. So this is what happens when, I mean, like. Generally, if, you, if your ABS isn't working, whatever you can try whatever you want. You'll never do anything. It'll just it won't do anything. You, you once your wheels have locked up, you you are a passenger, and the momentum is going to guide the direction of the vehicle. So you just I used to um, I used to drive a, a Ford Cortina <laughs> 76. Oh, my favorite. And um, so I have experience in the rain with that thing. There we go, and then you feel it pull. Right. Lovely. So, so that, that's what it used to do when it aquaplanes. One you know, side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, uh, you know, I used to drive to Varsity, it's raining, you press brake, and you just sort of slide across the road. There's no, <laughs> no stopping, controlling, nothing. Well, you know, you bring up a good point, Frankie, because part of what electronic brake force distribution does is not only proportion brake force front and rear, but also left and right. Because your road surface is always going to have two different levels of grip between left and right. Right. Because all the dirt and muck and everything is pulled to one side. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my foot off the brake once we've locked up. Okay. So I'm turning and oh, as there we I go. off the brake, I retain grip. Right. And it's quite violent. As you it's very you violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why we, we only need a quarter turn. Okay. So that's the second mistake a lot of people make when they lose control. They, they try overturn. Okay. And when you overturn, you, you, you actually lose more grip. So a little half turn does amazing things in terms of the the amount that the vehicle will turn as well. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, Frankie to drive. Let's see how this goes. So Frankie, as I say, 40, 50 kilometers an hour, you're probably equivalent to 120 on dry tarmac on the freeway. Right. 
in terms of the dynamics of the car. So whack the brakes. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. And you see the car just carrying on. Right, I see. Okay, Wait, I gotta do that again. Let's I gotta do that again. I gotta sure. do that again. And now that you've experienced kind of where the car is, you're free to go to whatever speed you're comfortable with. Okay. That's it, nice. Okay, whack the brakes. Turn. There we go. Perfect. What did I get up to? I didn't even see. Uh, you got up to about 55. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It was nice. Nice and brisk. All right, so, Frankie, what we're going to do now is we've put some cones up to simulate, as we said, now a, a vehicle that's either crashed or stopped in the middle of the highway, and you're going to have to get your way around it. Right. This. So I'm going to leave you up to your devices here initially, and then I'll show you how to do it the right way. Okay, so there are, there are two... I just break at those cones. We put two big cones flat. I'm going to try... Just break at that moment, right? So at, the, at those cones, we'll lock the brakes up, and then I want you to try to steer your way around those cones and back into your lane. So you're going to do, turn left and right now. Okay. okay All right, let's, let's go. try. Let's try. Okay. Same kind of speed, yeah? Same kind of speed. All right. Okay, lock. Turn. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, we all did. Yeah, no, we're dead, and whoever was in the road is also dead. Everyone's dead <laughs> now. I think those cones will start to get your adrenaline pumping a little bit, and you're going to start to see things flying I'm, around. I'm already nervous. I don't, I don't need <laughs> adrenaline pumping. I'm already nervous. Well, I noticed you took a bit of a shorter run. Okay, here we go. Okay, here let's go. go. All right, brake, turn, off the brakes, back into your lane. Well done! Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, you're going off and probably all the indicators and everything. It's because I'm, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, no. But let's try this one more time. What I yeah. want you to do is lock your hands. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it like this. That's it. That and, and then that. That's all you need right. to turn. So again, you, you're feeling what everybody feels instinctively is we need to turn, turn, turn to get the car to turn. Right, which is not the case. Which is not the case. like we did earlier, you just take your brake, your foot off the brake a little and you'll get the response. 100%. So at Smart Corps, at the hairpin, the wheels are only turning 7 degrees, believe it or not. And you get around a hairpin. Okay. Okay, so... So now just remember to lock, you're doing everything else right, by the way. So just now remember to lock those. Lock those, the arms, don't arms. lift the, and don't, and don't forget about the steering wheel. That's the. Okay, so lock your hands okay. on the steering wheel. Okay, brake, turn, off the brakes, turn back in. And there you go. Oh, that's that, much easier. Now that was That's pro. much easier. Oh, that was pro. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm actually. Impressed. I'm, I'm impressed. I think we're gonna, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to put a, a race seat and a helmet on you. Oh, I no. Think, I think you've got this. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so ABS is back on. So now, the car, technically, I should have control. So I should be able to turn, even in uh, braking, sliding kind of mode. 100%. So what, what ABS does for us is it, it does cadence braking automatically for us. So we don't have to pump the brakes. Yeah. We don't have to think about coming off the brakes. Even if you oversteer, it's going to cope with that. So it's taking away all our inadequacies as drivers. We, right. we, when we're in a panic situation, we don't think, and it's not natural for us to do these kind of things. First of all, it's very unnatural when you're heading towards an object to remember to actually take your foot off the brake. Yeah, it's crazy because you, you're braking and then you're going, and then I've got to release softly so I don't, you Correct. know, it's like, Correct. it's not a... So our natural instinct is to keep braking harder because we think that's the way to go. So it's quite unnatural to come off the brakes. No, it doesn't matter. You can keep braking as hard as you like. Okay, let's see if, um, if I can make this happen. It's almost an anticlimax, eh? It is. Yeah? Wait, let's try that again. I feel like I made so it. So go, go, go around there and let's, let's now build up some speed. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's, let's get some serious speed. <laughs> Brack, turn. I mean, quite unreal, eh? That's crazy. I, I, just, just, I just missed that the end the cone. Last cone. But, just. But I mean, you were going, going nice and fast there. No, and that's it's completely, cool. the car sorted out everything. Imagine, and you, you've now experienced this, imagine doing it without the systems. We would have been still, no, no, still no, spinning. Be, yeah, exactly. No, it's impossible. It's actually impossible to do. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, thank you. No, look, I've, I've learned a few things today, Peter. Um, ABS is my friend. That's one thing I've learned. 
Uh, it's actually incredible what these systems do and how clever the car is. It's, it's crazy. Boggling. And to think that we drove cars without these systems on in the 80s and we're still alive. Well, I, I, like I said to you, I drove that Ford Cortina and it had none of this. And I know why now. Why <laughs> I went into the neighbor's car a little bit on a turn once, you know. Well, I've got to say, the improvement that you showed today was unreal. I can't wait to get you on the skid pan tomorrow where we're going to do some serious skidding and ESP and loss of control. That's so the fun part. That's going to be the fun part. Okay, so cool. We'll see you then tomorrow. Perfect. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you next week on Let's Talk Automotive.